welcome to Dee's Cabbies and Vintage Toys. So many of you know that uh, Coleco was the first company to produce the Cabbage Patch Kids, in the mass market Cabbage Patch Kids. Um, and after Coleco, Hasbro took over. But in 1995, Mattel came in and they started producing the kids and they had some amazing, amazing additions and I want to share that with you. So Mattel took over the rights in 1995 um, and they produced some amazing, amazing kids all the way up until 2001 when Toys R Us actually started producing the kids. Um, they're known to collectors as True Kids, T-R-U. So if you ever see that, those are Toys R Us kids and they came in after Mattel. But Mattel had some amazing kiddos and I want to introduce you to these two right here. You may notice that these two cuties have the same head molds as the Coleco kids. Uh, the little girl here, she's a 17, and this little boy is an 18. Um, what's different about them mainly is their size. They're 14 inches. The Coleco kids and the Hasbro kids were around 16 inches. Um, but these guys are 14 inches. So the Mattel kids were typically much smaller than the Coleco and the Hasbros, the, the kids that came before them. But the head molds were all pretty similar. Um, I noticed that they used a lot of the same head molds. I'm not sure if they used all the same, but I'm pretty sure that they did. If you look at these guys, they really do resemble the Coleco kids. They're um, in the Hasbro kids. They're just a lot tinier. And their, their clothing is, you know, obviously different too because they're smaller. But they just came with really cute outfits, little chunky shoes. Um, their hair is a little different. They use different yarn. If you see this guy right here, I love his hair. He's so cute. It's like a, um, almost like a crimped kind of texture. It, it's just, oh, he's so cute. <laughs> I love him. He's one of my favorite kids. She's cute too, but this little boy, he's a little heartthrob. Look at him. You guys already know that one of the things that I love so much about the Cabbage Patch Kids is when they make the special edition sets. Play Along did some amazing ones, and a lot of you have already seen the video that I did on that. But Mattel, they actually came before Play Along, so they kind of... They kind of hit that off already. Um, they were the first ones to really, really do a good job with special edition sets. And I have three of them here. The first one over here is the Dress and Fun gift set. This is so cute because um, this is actually a number 19 girl in here. Um, a number 19 Mattel. And she comes with a little, her little mini me. You see the little mini me over here? <laughs> Isn't that so cute? So she goes with her little baby, and um, she actually has another outfit. So it was called Dress and Fun Gift Set. So it comes with an extra little, um, I guess a little play outfit, and then she's got her little baby. It's just adorable. And the clothes, the Mattel outfits, the little dresses are so cute. Look at little hearts everywhere, and little hearts and balloons, and so cute. Little flowers, adorable. And then this one over here is the Playtime Bedtime Baby Gift Set. This one is really cute too. So it comes with a uh, pacifier and um, it comes with a little, it looks like, like a teething ring, a hairbrush. Um, she's holding a little teddy bear and it comes with a nightgown. So basically, oh, a little juice box down here. So basically, um, it's a little girl, and then she's got um, everything that she needs to get ready for bedtime. This is really cute. I like it. And then this one over here, I actually um, featured this in one of my other videos, but this is the Love and Go, and this is the Baby in the Nursery playset. So 
it's just a little um it's a tiny version i don't know how big these are i want to say maybe like nine or ten inches these are really tiny but they come with um a little nursery as you can see i think that shows it on the back but there's a little um little baby with the nursery the crib it's cute little play little play area One of the coolest things that Mattel ever did was this right here. The Cabbage Patch Kids were the official mascots of the 1996 U.S. Olympics. And here they are right here. I have two of them. Celebrities. <laughs> but this little guy right here, he's a number 19. Look at him. Oh, he's so beautiful. Look at his hair. Oh, my goodness. I wish you guys could feel this. This is this is like a real thick kind of yarn, but he's just so cute from head to toe. 14 inches, um, just like the other two that I showed you that were out of the box. And then this guy right here, he actually came, um, I bought him this way. So he came with the little uh, Olympic Kids collectible set. Um, there is four figures in there. And... Um, they're all in Olympic outfits, just like the dolls, just like the, the big cabbies are. This was such an amazing set. It really, I mean, it's such an amazing addition. I mean, it was a really amazing addition. Um, this was huge for the Cabbage Patch Kids, for us, you know. It was a really neat thing to make them the official mascots. It's so cool. This is really neat. I just found this out. Um because I just opened up this guy. So you guys are seeing him open for the very first time with me. That's pretty cool. So he came with his adoption certificate, which um, all the Mattel kids came with the birth certificate and the adoption certificate. But what I did not realize until today is that the Olympic kids came with a USA scorecard for the 96 u.s olympics that is so neat so the kids of of the 90s of 1996 that bought these cabbage patch kids could actually watch the olympics and they could write down all the results on on their scorecard this is really really neat that that's amazing they did a great job with this and I'm really excited because I'm just now finding out about this because I opened up the box and it was in there and I'm like, oh wow, something cool I found out with you guys. Yay. If you look at the back of the box, it um, actually, you know, tells you what's inside the, what I showed you, the birth certificate, um, um, the adoption papers, and the scorecard. But it also shows you all of the Olympic kids that you can get track and field, tennis, basketball, swimming, gymnastics, and soccer. This is such a cute, look at how cute that picture is of them. Oh my goodness, I want every single one now. <laughs> I really do. Look how cute they are. So adorable. I love the Olympic kids. I always have. And now I, I want more after doing this video. I, I do. I want more. I want them all. Another thing that happened in 1996 with these guys right here, the Snack Time Kids. So, um, a lot of collectors know that the Snack Time Kids came out in 1996 and they were recalled a few months later. Because what they do is, um, there's an electronic mecha mechanism um, that allows them to eat the little snacks that come with them. So they come with seven snacks play snacks obviously a banana with a peel a carrot celery a wafer cookie licorice french fry and a pretzel so they're really neat because they really do eat if you if you put the, the food up to their mouth then <laughs> the problem was that they were eating things that weren't their snacks so they're, they were recalled because they were actually harming people. So um, that wasn't a good thing. But as a collector, I still have them. I keep them in their box. Um, they're a part of the Cabbage Patch history. They're beautiful dolls. Look at how cute they are. They're beautiful. They're not hurting anybody inside the box, so why not, right? I love them. I do. Look at her. Look how cute she is. Look at the little... Remember in the 80s and 90s, we had like the little jelly shoes? These are, she's got little like little jelly shoes. 
<laughs> and they're white. They're so cute. And this little girl, too, with her white, white hair. They're beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, she's got red jelly shoes. Jelly shoes. Red jelly shoes, white jelly shoes. So cute. I love their outfits. They're really great kids. But, unfortunately, they had to be recalled. But, they're in my collection, and I love them. Some people may say that Mattel was kind of, you know, somewhat gimmicky, but that's fine by me because I like gimmicks. I like, um, as my husband Nelson said, he, he put this really, really, uh, said this really well, he, Mattel made the kids come to life um, by eating things that didn't go over that well, but that's okay. <laughs> and uh, what I have here is a happy sounds kid. So, um... Proof again that they're trying to, you know, give them personality, but, you know, make them come to life, so to speak. And that's really a great thing. What I have here is a happy sounds kid. So I have one in the box, and then I have this little guy right here. He's so cute. This is Rob Stanley. And his birthday is September 15th. One thing that I do want to mention um, that I didn't mention earlier in the video. A lot of the, um, most of the Mattel kids... Have they all come with adoption, um, you know, birth certificates, adoption papers, like all the other um, Cabbage Patch kids did? But the Mattel kids came with their name and their birthday on their wrist. And this is an actual sticker. I'm not going to take it off, but I'm going to show you. You can take it off and you place this right on the birth certificate. Um, so it has their name and their birthday right on it. So it's, it's, it's really, it was just a little different, neat way, you know, just to um, put a name and a birthday to the kids. But anyways, Rob Stanley here, he is a happy sounds kid. Um, I'm, I'm going to throw a disclaimer out there. He, he doesn't sound that great because he's from 1990-something. Um, but I am going to press on him so you can kind of see what they did. So you press the belly. Oh, he's laughing. Uh, you hear him? He's cute. Yeah. Oh, I think he's saying, uh-oh. And he's kissing me. Easy. Blowing a kiss. And he's saying, uh-oh again. Oh, one more time. Ah, he's laughing. <laughs> he's so cute. <laughs> so they made uh, three, three happy sounds. And it says right there, look at how cute she is. Oh, I love her. She is a number 18 head mold. Such a cutie. And her name is Lucinda Jessica, and her birthday is August 30th. Cute. I love her outfit. Look at her outfit. Red and black. Oh, my goodness. It's so cute with the matching red shoes. Oh, she's got a little scarf on. She looks so sassy. Love it. Here I have um, a Walmart exclusive school time cheerleader and a, um, a soccer player. I did, the soccer player didn't come with a box, so I'm not sure um, if this is from the same edition, but I have a feeling that they were somehow related. The school time cheerleader, actually, um, she's really cute. Look at how cute she is with her little plaid skirt and her matching red sweater. Her little, oh, I love her shoes. They're so cute. But her megaphone, she has a megaphone in there, and you can actually uh, decorate the megaphone with the stickers. How cute is that? Love it, love it, love it, love it. She's adorable. And then our little soccer player over here. Um, this is really cute. It, I love how they made the background look like she's actually at a soccer game playing soccer. And she's got her little soccer ball with her and everything. CPK Sports. Love it. So cute. In 1998... Mattel released the 15th anniversary special edition kids and they were actually um, called the 1983 commem commemorative reproduction and they did a fantastic job you guys I mean look at this girl she looks like a 1983 Coleco kid she really does beautiful they even made them bigger they made them you know 16 inches like the original kids were She's phenomenal. I love this girl. She's so beautiful. She actually looks like the 1983 Coleco kid that I always wanted when I was a little girl that I, I didn't get, sadly. But I have her now, so it's all good. Her name 
is Nettie Trudy, and she was born on December 5th. I love her. I love everything. Oh my goodness, she's so beautiful. Her um, her gingham dress and the little white shoes. She's just perfect. What was so awesome about this edition, um, because there's been lots of anniversary kids throughout the years, but even the box, look at this. This looks like the original Coleco boxes. They just did a fantastic job all the way around. I, 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 I commend them for this. This was an amazing, amazing addition by Mattel. I'm so excited right now to share this with you. My absolute favorite addition of the Mattel kids is the Edoption Barbie kids. I have um, I, what I believe is every combination um, of the Barbie kids by Mattel. So I have my Asian girl, my Hispanic girl, my AA girl, my blonde, and my little redhead girl in the front who was actually a gift from my friend Michelle. She, I, I love these kids. Now the adoption um, line had uh, four, there were four different um, kinds of kids that you could get. And Barbie was one of them. And then they had um, one that said, let's go out and go places. And then they had a sporty one that played soccer. And then there was another one um, that was like earthy, crunchy, you know, help me take care of our earth. So, you know, it was a really neat um, idea that they came up with, with these kids, marketing them. So, you actually went to um, a website called www.edoption.com and you went on there and you registered your kids. And it was, this was in the late 90s. So, this was, um, you know, the beginning of, not the very beginning, but when we started really, really, you know, noticing the internet and stuff and letting our kids go on it and things like that. So, this was a big, big step for Mattel. And um, I don't, I like all the adoption kids, but I'm taking one collection at a time and Barbie was my favorite. So, I started with them and I, um, I have five of them as you can see and I love them so much. I love their outfits. I love the chunky shoes. I love oh, the little pink purse. It's so Barbie, right? Look at that. There's nothing better than a Cabbage Patch Kid that is also Barbie. I mean, they're the two best dolls in the world, right? I think so. That was a lot of fun, really. This was so much fun. I really loved making this video for you guys. Mattel had some really, really great, interesting ideas and some fantastic kids. And I'm so happy that I did this video because I got to revisit them again. I have a, a very big collection and um, I, don't, I don't get to play with them all the time. You know, there's a lot of them. And... This is, doing the videos is awesome because I get to actually see them and, and really, really appreciate them. Appreciate what I have in the collection. And I love sharing this with you guys. So this was so much fun. Mattel was a really great company. Um, they, they really did some amazing things. They brought so much personality to the kids. And I really like that. And some people call it gimmicky, but you know what? Whatever works. They did a really great job. It was a lot of fun. I had a great time with this video, you guys. Thank you so much. And um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. Bye.